Shall we have a quick chat about dead cats? Quite a few about this week. If you're a newspaper editor or a telly exec, you can bet there's one under your front wheels right now. Go have a look. It's an odd phrase, and a recent one, coined by Boris Johnson's longtime election guru, Linton Crosby, nicknamed the Wonderful Wizard of Oz. Why? Not because he's Australian, though he is. It's because he lives in the shadows and grants wishes to those lacking a heart, brains or courage. The Conservative Party. It's a very simple idea. Distract everyone. Not the sneakiest move, either. Boris told us all about it. There is one thing that is absolutely certain about throwing a dead cat on the dining room table, said he. And I don't mean that people will be outraged, alarmed, disgusted. That is true, but irrelevant. The key point, says my Australian friend, is that everyone will shout, Geez, mate, there's a dead cat on the table. Flawless impression there. The trouble now is that there are so many dead cats flying around, it's hard to know which are intentional and which are just, well, stuff happening. Let's do a quick roundup. Some dead cats are more obviously dead cats. What don't we want people to talk about? Partygate, right? So let's have lots of mad policy announcements. Nadine Dorries let the cat out of the bag by literally saying it, didn't she? OK, she said, enough with the dead cats. Then released one, the BBC funding cat. I mean, cut. But Nadine Dorries saying what she'll do five years from now is on par with me saying what I'll do when I'm Pope. Also, Boris scrapped all the Covid stuff. Plan B in the bin. Yay! Watch out for the Covid, though. We're still pushing 100,000 cases a day. Then there's the migrant crossings. A dead cat with a megaphone shouting, go away, at boats of desperate people. The Home Secretary's been failing on that score for years. Now the government's sending in the troops, because blokes with guns always make things better. Maybe have a word with the Navy. It doesn't seem to want to do it. Or use a sonic boom to scare away the migrant boats. That's on the list with the wave machine and the nets, I imagine. You've got Justice Secretary Dom Raab on the loose, too. Let magistrates lock people up for longer. Good idea. That'll help with the backlog in the Crown Court. Gold star, Dom. Maybe a bill in Parliament? Oh, you're just signing it all off. Huh, I know. Lots of power. You're very important. Only actual lawyers, not pretend ones like you, say it'll just mean more work for the Crown Courts. A dead cat eating its own tail there. Bit of a double dead cat, all this crime and justice stuff from Dom and Pretty. Distract from the parties, but also took the heat off them a bit too. See, this week, the House of Lords threw out most of the fascist stuff Pretty sneaked into the Police Crime Sentencing and Courts Bill. You know, locking up would-be protesters for just thinking about it. 14 defeats for her, awkward. And the peers even managed to make misogyny a hate crime too, despite Raab's best efforts to avoid it or understand what it means. Misogyny is, of course, uh, absolutely wrong, whether it's uh, a man against a woman uh, or, or a woman against a man. Well done, you dead cats. I'd almost forgotten how ridiculous he was. <laughs>